This is Chris from MyCricketForum.com. What we have today is the Verizon Motorola Droid 3. We've already done a couple looks at this device and now we're going to do our video tutorial on flashing it. I would suggest that you head to our forum and follow along with the written thread about this device. Flashing it is pretty much just like the uh, Droid 2 or Droid X. We've already flashed the device so we'll just kind of go through some of the steps that we took. We already have the drivers installed, the Moto Diag drivers. Uh, we're working on a 64-bit operating system, so we installed the appropriate ones. And we'll go ahead and connect this device to our computer. Okay. We'll make sure that we have it in PC mode. There are other drivers you can get and uh, key configurations that you could use when you turn it on to uh, enter it into a different diagnostic mode that actually works uh, a little bit quicker, but uh, this method is uh, kind of our tried and true method. It's worked uh, really well for us. We just use HW Virtual Serial Port. Uh, we have some information about setting this up. Um, comm's not so important, but we try to keep it low uh, so that we can use CDMA Workshop 2.7. Uh, if you have one of the later versions of uh, uh, CDMA Workshop, like 3.x, let's say, any of the version 3 ones, you can uh, use higher ports. Uh, make sure this IP address there is 192.168.16.2, port 11008. Also, make sure in the settings that you do not have NVT enabled. That might give you some problems if you do. So we'll go ahead and connect it. This is on PC mode. Diagnostic driver is already installed. And then we'll go click Create Com. While you're doing this, you can make sure that you have the uh, latest PRL that you want to use. We actually have an official PRL thread. Also, you'll need to go to www.whiterabbit.org and make sure that you get your um, NV items for this device. At the time of this video, there's no way to root the device, so we're not going to need auto start, U2NL, and we're not going to use green, 40, uh, green K45 because there's no way to get on the $45 plan without uh, root access. You can use the built in Android proxy, but chances are that uh, won't let you use the market or any apps. It'll just strictly give you internet for $45. So now our device is connected. Uh, we'll go ahead and open up uh, CDMA Workshop. And when I said internet, I meant strictly web browsing. Once you have CDMA Workshop, make sure you go to the correct COM port. We'll show you in Device Manager uh, where this device pops up real quick prior to going any further. If you don't have the drivers installed already, you're going to have a device with probably an exclamation mark. Uh, it pops up as modems. There's that Motorola USB modem. Make sure it has the right drivers. If it doesn't, you'll have to kick, click uh, Properties, Drivers update driver and select the appropriate one. So we're connected to the device and we chose port 19. Well, actually now we're connected. You got security. You got to send the SPC which for Verizon devices it's six zeros. They meant to click send and not write. So we sent the SPC. It notifies us that it's correct and it's unlocked. Then we go to memory and we'll write the NV items. So it lets you know that you do have to send the SPC prior to this. So go ahead and find your NV items and uh, send them. We did back up the uh, NV items for the stock Verizon because this is a good ESN phone and we want to back it. Uh, we want to be able to restore that if we have to uh, in case we want to sell the device as a good ESN phone. Now you can close that out. It's going to ask you if you want to reset. Don't reset the device because you can go straight 
into uh, QPST. If you don't have the port added already, go into QPST configuration and add the port. So here it comes up, and uh, this process is going to take a while to read. We selected the device, and now we're going to click read from phone. It's all zeros again. While you're waiting on this, you can uh, download the APN, configure that. You can install APN Backup uh, Restore. Uh, we've attached it to the thread, and it's also available in the market, so you can hop on Wi-Fi and get that. Um, we're going to put a link. Uh, Mr. Abe uh, himself, a develop the developer of Green K45, has also uh, made a program that gives you a quick shortcut to the APNs. Actually, excuse me, on this device you don't need APN Backup Restore. You can just use uh, Mr. Abe himself's APN shortcut program, or you can use AnyCut and make a shortcut to the Activity APN, and you'll modify the APN appropriately. Uh, Cricket, Internet, since we're on the $55 plan, no proxy, no port. Your phone number at mycricket.com, passwords Cricket in lowercase, server wapped at mycricket.com. MMSC is http colon forward slash forward slash mmsmycricket.com forward slash servlets forward slash mms mms proxy is wap.mycricket.com mms port is 8080 mcc is 310 mnc is 004 authentication type is pap or chap apn type we just left that blank so it's not set apn protocol ip version 4 so then you'll hit uh, the menu button and hit save and I usually click this little uh, circle here then we can back out and reset the device uh, actually don't reset the device yet write all your QPST settings and then let that reset the device uh, so you only have to do it once also uh, sometimes this helps uh, with MMS go to pound pound program pound and talk uh, let's see pound pound p r o g r a m pound talk well right now i think it's not letting us in because of the the signal right there when we went into qbst actually okay it's pound pound program no pound at the end then I'll ask for the SPC, which is six zeros. Go to SMS slash MMS settings. MML server name, we changed to wap.mycricket.com. The address for upload to online album, it used to be some number starting with a four. We changed that to six ones, which should kind of null it. and then you can just back out of those settings sorry I've been moving for a long time I'm pretty tired um, this video isn't flowing as well as I'd like it to but uh, I think you'll get the idea once you look at our thread also so now all the settings have been loaded in QPST go ahead and go back here CDMA tab write your phone number directory number right there write your MIN right here you can get that from us by requesting it through the contact form uh, on our home page or you can call Cricket uh, remember you gotta write that first and then this second if you modify anything up here we'll show you let's change this into a six it changes your MIN down there uh, make sure these are all EVRC next tab will be your roam tab go ahead and pick your preferred roaming list right here next tab after that will be m.ip open this up phone number at mycricket.com phone number at mycricket.com enter text string enter cricket in lowercase there cricket in lowercase here zero all of these out and make sure that is checked you can leave the mobile IP behavior as mob uh, mobile plus simple fallback uh, active user is zero which is that profile right there then go to the PPP config 
go to UM. Your phone number at mycricket.com there. Your phone number at mycricket.com there. Select both of these boxes. Make sure they're checked. Go to AN. Write your phone number at mycricket.com there. The word cricket in lowercase there. And then hit write to phone. After you hit write to phone, it's going to write it to your phone naturally and it's going to res uh, reset your device. And uh, then it'll be ready. for cricket. Um, if you need to get your ESN changed, uh, you can become a member, a support member, and we'll uh, go ahead and do that for you. Or you can just uh, call cricket or go to a cricket dealer and pay the $15 and uh, they can get it done also. Make sure they put you on the Android plan until this device gets root rooted. That's the only thing you'll be able to do. So for more information, visit www.mycricketforum.com. Also, subscribe to our videos on YouTube to see the latest phones that we're working on. And go to www.facebook.com forward slash mycricketforum and like our page. Thanks.